I didn't know anything about Dubai. And now I don't know anything about Dubai, but I know a lot of stuff about it. I imagine pretty much everyone, everywhere in the world has a similar story to its creation, as sad as that is. Dubai is a parody of the 21st century. That's been getting recommended to me every day. I'm assuming that's the same for all of you then. Let's see. When we hear the word Dubai, most of us picture towering skyscrapers, immense wealth, police with Lamborghinis, seven-star yep. hotels, with the absolute cream of something here to make the case and yeah, that I have seen Dubai, that, sis. the Emirates, and the Gulf countries in general are one of the worst places on the planet. Whoa. Now, this is a rather bold claim, I realize, mm -hmm. but it's one that I can substantiate fully. So let's take a look at what's really behind the glitz and glamour, the true face of Dubai and the Gulf countries. Money, it's a lot so of money. To understand what's going on in a place like Dubai, first let's talk about. Is there a big O in Cairo? In the decades following World War II, Bucharest, the capital, came to face the same problem as many Eastern European capitals did at the time. As urbanization increased and huge residential areas were built out, the need arose for new, high-capacity public transportation. And so Nicola Ceausescu, the dictator of Romania goose? back in the day, gave out the order to construct a metro line. And so the engineers created a line proposal and presented it to him. And then Ceausescu was like, no, I will design the route personally. And so the he former seems nice. shoemaker assistant, who also called himself the genius of the Carpathians, I am not making this up, sat down and redesigned the entire metro line to have it run along have the river. Have you seen Big O? Underneath. I think so. Yes, along. But Nicola Ceausescu's wife, Elena Ceausescu, a former textile factory worker, also got her fair share of planning. Reportedly, when the planners presented the final version of the metro line to the Ceausescu couple, Elena Ceausescu reportedly asked why the metro would stop inside the inner city at Piata Romana. Inquiring and this all ties into Dubai? There are. The planners told her there aren't any factories, but there is the Bucharest University of Economics where there are lots of students. Hearing that, Elena Ceausescu reportedly said, Students? They've gotten fat. They grew a belly. They should walk. No station at Romana. Let them walk. Damn, but of course, rough. everyone outside of the dictator power couple knew that this was stupid. And so the engineers, having enough foresight, decided to build the station in secret, banking on the fact that they would need to build a station there anyway nice due to future park. public pressure. And they were correct. The end result was this ridiculous and dangerously narrow station, since the engineers <laughs> couldn't build a normal station hall, since they had to disguise their little secret project as regular tunnel boring. And so the story is smooth brain dictator plus construction equals dumb shit. And boy, pretty what cool though. Segue this is to the video's actual subject, Dubai. Yeah, what did that have to do with Dubai? It just seemed like a really shitty the subway. City of Dubai is a joke. It's a tasteless parody of everything wrong with modern humanity. And so why do I say that? Let's go through it, shall we? Victory sub legionnaires. Now, Learning more about my country? About Are you from Dubai? I have already talked about the Burj Khalifa. It's a big dumb tower of glass and steel stuck in the middle of the desert, serving no other purpose than a petrol dollar fueled dick measuring contest. And the building like even the has its husk. own poem about itself. Like seriously, how pretentious can you get? I am the life force of collective aspirations and the aesthetic union of many cultures. I see oh, this is so sweet though. And what the hell is that noise? Oh no, it's the poop trucks. Yeah, did you know that the Burj Khalifa isn't connected to its sewage system? So every single day a huge line of poop trucks have to queue up what? next to the building and suck out all the poop. So, so it's like an RV? Wait, are you... Why... What? Hold on, I have to. I have to fact check that. I'll just do septic trucks. Oh my god! Why? Yeah, they're transporting uh, seven million grams of shit a day. Why did they measure that in grams? Or seven tons? And that's only shit. That's not even pee pee. That's wild. That's so much shit. So, MR's ambition and Dubai's shining dream included the world's tallest skyscraper but not a sewer system. And besides, I've talked about this before in the skyscrapers video, there's actually not much point to building a skyscraper. Like the only situation where it might make sense is when you're physically out of space. But trust me, Dubai does not have this problem. Which ties into the next suspect. Look how cool that is though, that's awesome. That looks cool. He's the prime Westie and nerd. 
Dubai's palm islands are the OG symbols of the city. The construction of the first one, the Palm Jumeirah, started in 2001, if you can believe that. And according to Google's satellite images, it's still not finished, it's still getting built out. And just for good measure, let's take a look at what the Nature is amazing. Here. Nature I mean, didn't make this, nice they made space, this. But what are they really, from up close and personal? These are man-made. Well, the stem is an eight-lane urban freeway, and the leaves are just individual suburban streets. Oh, and there's also a monorail in the middle. Oh, and between The Point and Nakheel Mall, there are no stations. So then, how do people living on the leaves get on this thing? Well, it's a rhetorical question, of course. Just like the real suburbs in America, this thing was built around cars. And the second palm, the Jebel Ali, will be more the same. And then there are the world islands of... Yeah! Course, the complex of tiny islands for the ultra-rich. We watched this one. And, oh my god, this looks outright post-apocalyptic. Jesus Thanks, Christ. Little M. Oh, and there's a third palm under construction if the two weren't enough. Oh, and by the way, the sand they use for the palms is not desert sand. They can't use it because the grains are too big. Instead, they have to get the sand from the seafloor. And they achieve this by sucking it up with these big tanker ships. And uh, also annihilating acres of marine life in the process. Yeah, oh, but it by looks the way, cool. These palm islands were built on top of natural coral reefs, which they just ended up basically burying. <gasps> and according to NASA measurements, all these islands are sinking at a rate of 5 millimeters per Wow, year. not and bad. By the way, have you heard about this thing called the rising sea levels? According no, it's fake. Agency Abu Dhabi, under uh, the most severe exist. climate change scenario, nearly all of Dubai, including Thanks the tier one marauder and tier one Malachi, the prime okay, potato. So let me get this straight: you had all the money and power in the world to create anything, and you have paid money to annihilate a coral reef to build a sinking suburb on top. What does that mean, it. Uncle? Perhaps I treated you too harshly. And here's the kicker about these islands. <laughs> That's right, I'm still not done. Why build them on the sea to begin with? I mean, you have the desert. You have all the space you will ever need. So why not just build the palms inverted into the land? You know, having the actual body of the palm not out of sand, but out of water. Because it, it looks look cooler. Just as no. from space, and it wouldn't even demolish all the aquatic life. Disagreed. Hang on a second, they did do something like this already. Just below the palm tree. And, oh no, these are American style suburbs. Oh man. I can't believe it. They took the worst urbanism practices from the US and they implemented it one to one. Whoa, and there's all the well, let's not get carried away here. Copy paste housing, cold as acts, giant highways cutting through the area, no public transportation, a 12 lane arterial road, Jesus Christ. And so this will be our segue to He's convinced me Dubai sounds like ass. Oh my god. What the in general is just complete bonkers. It's kind of its own little bubble, really. A strange little it doesn't rich sound very nice. In the desert. Take a look at this arrangement. Two sections of skyscrapers separated by a 20 something lane freeway, and behind it a bunch of cool and golf courses. And thank it's you for the bits, strange mixture between Futurama and Evil Los Angeles. And this just makes me feel so You just had a wedding in Dubai and they money, cleared out a building power, and streets to make so way for poop trucks. So much better than this. The way I understand That's it, amazing. The motive behind building all this flashy stuff was wow. to try and increase tourism to help the Emirates economy transition away from oil revenues which is you know fair enough but then why not build something truly unique something that isn't just a big dumb tower of glass and steel or a couple dozen suburban streets on sinking sandbanks or gigantic malls or golf courses imagine a city with full-on historic Arabic golden age architecture with modern elements oh, it, this is concept art from Diablo 3 but horrible it looks horrible I have seen skyscrapers malls, oh my suburbs, god what a piece of shit urban freeways or I don't even see a poop before. truck. What I haven't seen is a historical or at least historicist Arab city. That would be a great way of spending all those petrol dollars, or at least a better way, I would say. And that might even attract a more quality crowd instead of the oligarchs, trust fund babies, and novarish idiots. Okay, that's a bit unfair, but Dubai right now is not exactly a haven of intellectualism, so to speak. By the way, did you know Nowhere that ten percent of the Emirates population is actually Emirati, the other ninety percent being immigrants and expats? Well, actually, they are all immigrants. It's the just that white people came up with this Paris. word expat, so they don't have to call themselves immigrants abroad because that word is reserved for brown people. He probably Speaking is zero. Of which... <clears throat> and this right here is my biggest problem with Dubai, the Emirates, and the Gulf states in general. All that luxury, wealth, and opulence you see all around you in Dubai. This video is full of stereotype and hate. Poor people from third world countries what, such what as do you mean? India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh are losing like by just hating on the, the city. 
People take loans from friends and family so they can cover the costs of their travel and work visa, usually more than $2,000, despite Emirati law requiring the companies to pay for those. Upon arrival, workers' passports are often confiscated, essentially trapping them inside the country. Workers are forced to work up to 12-hour shifts, up to 7 days a week, for $175 per month on wow! average. Wow! are common, Big bucks. many workers not receiving money for months on end. To quote from a Human Rights Watch report, the impact on workers whose wages are withheld Larry? for even one Reset month Burger very serious. They immediately fall into arrears on the debt they owe recruiting agencies in their home countries. They incur additional interest and they are unable to send money home for their families who depend on their income earned in the Emirates. In some cases, the non-payment of wages means that workers do not have money to buy food or basic goods and end up borrowing money just to survive. The Covid epidemic hmm. only made things worse. That and the oil price crashing left many workers jobless. Consequently, many were abandoned by their former employers. They now spend their days in half-abandoned worker camps on the outskirts of of the city. Only volunteers and their food donations standing between them and starvation. Jesus Christ. What does that mean? That's a fed you just mentioned now, Charlie? What is that? I don't know. What's that in reference to? That's a fed. What? What are you talking about? I was going to look something up though real quick. Thanks for the gift sub drifter. What is the average salary of Dubai? Because maybe a hundred dollars a month is good. Wow! The average salary in Dubai is eighteen or uh, seventeen thousand per month. That's of AED, so roughly four point five k a month USD. Oh wow, that's pretty good. Not bad. That's just for like a normal entry level job in Dubai. The average is roughly four point five k USD a month, according to this report, which is AET International. I remember stuff is kind of expensive there. True, yeah, what is the cost of living? Cost of living is single person monthly cost without rent, roughly $1,000. To be fair, that's not horrible. That is that is not bad for the average salary and the cost of living. That That isn't bad. I thought it was gonna be like a lot more, but I guess with rent, it could really pop off. Dubai is such an interesting place. After watching this video, it seems like a place I would hate to live though, if I have to wait for the poop truck to come around. And if it's sinking, doesn't sound optimal. All this just a few kilometers away from the seven-star hotels, the world's tallest wow, skyscraper, the world's biggest mall, and the golf courses for rich foreigners. According to the estimates of the Commonwealth Human Rights Initiative, between 2012 and mid-2018, more than 10 Indian workers died in golf countries every single day. And these are just the Indians. In addition to that, a Jezebel article goes on to say that at least two Indians commit suicide every single week. Holy shit. Emirates. A number, they say, that is simultaneously both shocking yet unsurprising. The they spikes. show photos of the accommodation in the tier one of Phoenix. Endure, unfit even for animals. A harsh contrast to Instagram's parallel universe. They call this system modern slavery, and I'm afraid they are correct. The city of Dubai is a joke, one that's unusually cruel. It's a twisted parody of everything wrong with modern humanity. I'll leave you with a poem from Bertolt Brecht, written in Well, leave me with a Burj Khalifa poem. Titled, Questions from a Worker, who reads, Who built Thebes of the Seven Gates? Even in fabled Atlantis, the night that the ocean engulfed it, the drowning still cried out for their slaves. The young Alexander this is a poem? India. Was he alone? Caesar defeated the Gauls. Did he not even have a cook with him? Philip of Spain wept when his armada went down. Was he the only one to weep? Frederick II won the Seven Years' hey, War. Hey, thanks for the long time of watching, Cobb. Every page of victory. Who cooked the feast for the victors? Thank you for watching. That wasn't a very cool poem. I'm sorry the video took such a dark turn in the end, but as I was looking up stuff for Dubai for the video, I kept encountering more and more just alarming the information. Like, Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching once again, and please like that was interesting. if you haven't already, and do- I didn't know anything about Dubai. And now I don't know anything about Dubai, but I know a lot of stuff about it. I imagine pretty much everyone, everywhere in the world has a similar story to its creation, as sad as that is. Ernie and Bert go brutal. Is that a meme? Hopefully it's not a meme, I'll give it a try. Damn. Is this DMCA? That was cool. They did go brutal, as advertised. Not wrong. World's biggest TP. It doesn't look that big. I think I've been clickbaited. Is this your video? Wait, this is the whole video. How was Free Guy? Free Guy was good. Dad accidentally gets stepdaughter pregnant. That does sound pretty wild and wacky, but I think I'm going to pass. The biggest Sasquatch TP I have ever seen from Colorado Bigfoot. Wait a minute, what the f- Is that where Sasquatch has been hiding? Huh. 
Oh my, that son of a bitch, hiding in plain sight, right under our nose. Does he, what, does he have 5G in there too? Let's go inside. These transitions are pretty nice. Keeping it moving very, very high speed. Look at this. Wow. What does that mean? But the first X? What's behind me? It, it's something really special, you guys. It's something really, really special. I just want to walk away from that TP wall while I'm, I'm pointing my camera backwards. Wait till you see this. Let me see it. Yeah, I'm working it up because this is this is crazy. This is something I have never in my lifetime seen or expected to see. God damn it, just show me it, Hank. You ready for this? Thank you, Hank Schrader. Whoa! Yes. Oh my god. The heck. It's the Burj Khalifa of Sasquatch TPs. Jesus Christ. Knock, maybe he's home. Or maybe this is just where Radagast the Brown this lives. Is an amazing thing. I'm not going to have to convince even the biggest skeptic of this. Convi look, convince look me of what? Straight. This is an amazing, amazing thing. I told you this place was special. Well, what are you trying to convince me? Much, just right here. I mean, this oh. whole entire mountain range is something really special. Did he make a bed in there too? Is that a hammock? That son of a bitch. It's hard to see. Yeah, this does look like Bigfoot's vacation home. All right, let me let me uh, let me walk around this and see. Is that a here. PS5? <laughs> you guys, look at this. Oh my God, he's inside. I don't even think it's possible for a human to build this. Uh, yeah, we're not smart enough. We it's, we couldn't do this. Good. I mean, it would take you. This would be. I mean, if you were like a professional TP builder and someone hired you. Look yeah. at that. There are a lot of professional TP builders we could consult too. There, but not much. One thing I'd have out in here is a cat. Look. Holy shit! The cat was in here. Bigfoot tracks. Wow. This is the most unbelievable structure I've ever seen. So I'm gonna sit here for a little while, and then I'll film when I, I'll film it one more time when I get out. This is the most that unbelievable structure you've ever seen. This it's made of sticks. There's disturbing. Come on, is this satire? That's a good question. If someone could come through at some point. I feel like it some point might be. Someone walk through there, probably just checking out the forest or hunting or something. Let's see, Colorado Bigfoot. Well, actually, what do the comments say? Maybe a storm shelter or a ceremonial place. Like a birthing hut. But are we still talking about Sasquatch? Like this is maybe a storm shelter that Sasquatch built? Why would he why would he make that? It's the most magnificent structure I've ever seen. Could an architect even build one as good as this? There's not a whole lot of faith in architects, I suppose. I'm why do we assume that it was Bigfoot that built this? It, this could have been anyone. Uh, or anything, if we want to this could be maybe Slenderman lives here. Like I don't Pixies even. Why are we jumping to Bigfoot conclusions? That's an amazing you could you could turn that into a home. I mean you could put a tarp on the outside or the inside of that. Light a yeah, fire. You could goes right up. You could live all winter in there. It'd be boring, but no cell reception here. You know, that TP over there. Yeah, there's two TPs. Game trail comes up here. Yeah, it's a whole neighborhood. That's how I, that's how I actually kind of walked over here. Bigfoot neighborhood. I was so amazed by that elk. So two TPs. It might be. Let me tell you, I was sitting right against that wall for about ten minutes. Nothing happened whatsoever. I heard no noises. Well, nothing. yeah. What would what? Um, then I come fee fi fo fum and blow the house down or anything. Okay, I have to know. Is this is this a satire channel? I feel like it very well might be. Watching me as I looked at their rocks. Who was watching you? Bigfoot? What do you have binoculars? Or like the NSA? You know why I know? Watch this. A person might have done that, but they would never do that. You just wouldn't. After doing all these giant rocks, you would never just go get those those five right there. <laughs> you just wouldn't. But Bigfoot would? You cannot see. Weather has taken over, like has washed out where anything, wherever a rock used to be. So that has been there for quite some time. Look at I'm that. I'm so right confused. You walk in that world. That's amazing to me. I haven't found good rock stackings like that in a long time, you guys. Why is Bigfoot stacking rocks? Wow. Okay, okay. I, I'm left with more questions than answers. Being caught on video. The street performer. 
Hey you guys, this is really short, but I wanted to show you something pretty cool. This was today. This this guy, I've seen this before. He's actually sitting. I don't know how they do it, but it's almost like one of those guys you see on a street sitting on one of those poles. That's what they do. It, it, he's sitting on it and he's holding on to something. It's one of these type of beings. I'm not sure. I see them. They're like very dark. But I wanted to get your opinion. You, I wanted to show you, you know. But it's the, yeah. Let me see. This, this stuff isn't always what you think it's going to be. It's damn. The zoom on this is intense. There's a lot of this that's really, really hard. I, I think that we're spring chickens, is what it is. We are just. We have just been born. What What are I looking for? I have, I have a longer video. Let me know if you want to see like yeti Wait, and did, stuff. Did you show me? Any, was there something here? I'm on a on a road that is kind of busy. Not busy, but people come down it. Oh. Friday. I think I saw something. Is that the street performer? I see him! He's right here! That son of a bitch. It is in 4K, but after the upload, I'm not sure how good, but I can see both his legs wrapped around. It's amazing. Wait, why? So if you... Why would you immediately stop filming him? You found Bigfoot the circus performer, and you immediately stopped filming him? Unbelievable. Wow, I mean, you can't argue with this. What's the most popular video here? Left trail came... Left trail cam as a gift. Bigfoot universe. This is a confusing angle. It's just different. Everything has changed, right? They, they've added all this stuff, but they're so quiet. Okay. This guy's not very good at hunting Bigfoot. Unless, well, this is 20 minutes. Yeah, I prefer the guy who hunts pixies. Okay, what was it? Number Jack?